Hey everyone, Dirk from Robot Mowers Australia. So we're going to do a little unboxing today, not very sexy, not, not a brand new mower, but uh, still related to it. So Mamotion have just released their new garage for their mowers for 2025. It is a bit of a design change from the previous model. So uh, we'll have a quick look at the old one. So if those of you who had one, uh, or have one, sorry, uh, may be familiar with the way it fixes onto the back of the charging station here. You screw it on at the back. Um, it did have a few issues where in very windy weather it could flip up and flip up quite hard and actually snap off at the back. Um, unfortunately not being covered under warranty. Um, that then resulted in owners either not replacing the garage or having to pay to get a new one. Um, over time it also tended to sag a bit and could start uh, hitting the camera on the top of the mower. So they've come up with the all new design so we'll open one up now. It's the first time I've seen one in the flesh. Um, let's get into it. All right, so I can tell by the weight already, it is more substantial than the old one. Um, the box is a little bigger as well. Okay, it looks like they come nicely wrapped now, which is better. They used to be just loose in the box. Let's just... Carefully pull that out of the box. Wow. All right. That is a nicely sealed bag, so I can't even find an opening. There it is there. All right. First of all, we have a lid. Same color as the old one. We've now got some sort of a couple of mounting points underneath. In terms of size, it looks to be slightly longer than the existing one. Uh, maybe 20, 30 mil longer. Then we have a leg. So this one is actually mounted into the ground. Um, it's not fixed to the charging station at all from what I understand, seeing it in the pictures. Uh, we have a box with a manual and some screws to screw it into the ground with. And there is a pole. I imagine that's going to go across between the legs. And we have one last leg at the bottom of the bag, wrapped in this protective foam. We also have another pole, that makes two of them. And yes, the second leg. So it looks quite sturdy. It's going to mount into the ground like that. Um, and like I said, be totally separate to the charging station, which is a good thing. This also means that you could use it with other brands of mowers if you wanted to. Um, and obviously the Yuka, uh, the Yuka Mini and the Luba Mini all have a different style of charging station than the Luba X and the Luba 2. So this is compatible with all of those. I'll put it together and I'll show you what the finished result looks like. Okay, so I've just removed the old uh, garage from the top of the charging station. So as you can see here, the old one was literally a one piece, piece of plastic with a, with a small hinge joint in there with your two screws. The new one is substantially larger and heavier, much thicker material as well. And it is going to give you more flexibility in terms of placement. Just place it over your charging station, adjust to your liking, 
and then use the four supply, supplied screws to anchor it into the ground. So these feel a lot sturdier, nowhere near as flimsy as the previous design. Um, I don't think you're going to get any flex over time in this. Um, as long as your four screws stay firmly fixed into the ground, you won't have any issues. There's plenty of clearance here between the, the top of the mower and the underside of the roof. So yes, they do cost a little more than the original model, but I think you're getting a lot more product and a better product than you were with the previous one. We do have these available on the website at robotmowersaustralia.com.au so if you're interested jump online have a look at them you can order there and we'll offer next day shipping. As always if you've got any questions about the Memotion range of products just jump online reach out to us we'll be happy to help you. Uh, we've got pretty much a full range of Memotion products in stock now. We've got the Luba 2X, both 3000s and 5000s, plenty of stock. We've got the Yuka Mini 600 and 800 in stock. We've got the Yuka, no sorry, the Luba Mini 1500 in stock. Uh, we're temporarily, temporarily out of the 800s, but they'll be coming in in the next few weeks. So, and obviously a full range of accessories. So, anything that you're after, jump online, we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.